These are the Roberta's four piece all star beef and slicer tomatoes. They come to you as live plants. And I remember my grandmother, my mom's mom, uh -huh. said, I want to I want a garden in my backyard. OK, so my granddad tilled up the whole backyard. All right. And the whole she backyard it was be just a small vegetable. Yeah. Garden. She ended up <laughs> planting uh, just rows and rows and rows of all kinds of uh, vegetables. And he would come home at lunchtime from his job. And uh, they were the proud parents of five children. My mother was the youngest of five. OK, and he called my grandmother mother and he'd come to the door from uh, for lunch. He'd say, mother, what's for lunch? What's for lunch? She'd say, Mom. go wash your hands. We're having made her sandwiches. Oh, my God. I, I, I would be in heaven. That's my favorite. So Court Wallin is back with us. One of uh, the wallet, one of the uh, original Wallin brothers. Yes. It was your mom was Roberta. Yes. And this is extraordinary. You get four plants that we're shipping. You. Four plants. And these are all about the taste. Mm. They will grow in containers and you're going to get two of two different varieties. The first one is the beef steaks a pound to a pound and a half. Wow, are they big it's and big flavorful mm -hmm. and tasteful and they will grow in containers and will start producing these big tomatoes in about 50 days. Then you're gonna get two of these Celebrity Plus. These are your slicers, great for your sauces, great for uh, your salad. You cut them in wedges. You bruschetta, can make your I would imagine. Yeah, we, we, we made a nice bruschetta. So you're getting two of each. Now these tomatoes, as you see, can grow in containers. Put them on your patio, line your driveway with them. We all want to eat healthier this year and every year, but we want to do it affordably. So these four plants will feed a family of four all season long, according to the U.S. Ag Bureau, atop your grill. Oh. Uh, Burgers. Burgers all summer long. So babe. good. And if you're doing a beautiful tomato watermelon salad with a feta cheese Those, and you, red onion. Ooh, you're, you're really, yes, really lovely. I love, love, love. You can these, put them in the ground. Uh huh. And top these with some balsamic glaze. Use these for your sauce. Whatever you're doing, it's oh, just really Oh, you'll have really a surplus incredible. of sauces. And here's that balsamic glaze that we're going to put on top of a caprese salad here. But this is a nice, simple, easy uh, dinner. I call these caprese stacks. They, I love the stack. And you know, if you're, if you're having even oh. a top chef over <laughs> for dinner, you serve them these oh, tasty wait. things. Let's a little just salt. with a little salt. Now we have table salt. I would probably use kosher salt on that, but it is and even lovely. your and look, this is your uh, celebrity choice slicers. We just wedged them with a little onion, and that's also so delicious. And uh, you want to hit that with salt and pepper too? Yeah, right. please do. Go right All ahead. Right, go and what ahead. I'm going and uh, season up high. That way you get better coverage. All right. Um, this is very very popular. Frank, how many are gone? 350 of these tomato right. plants. Now, 300 people are on our phone lines. Everybody is wanting to grow their own tomatoes. We need to stake these, yes? Well, I would put them in a cage, and I want to show you how to, uh, to do this everybody, for everybody. Please. So, uh, this is what you're getting, and then we'll walk over to the table and, and plant one. So, you're getting four non GMO, two of each of the varieties. All bred for taste, space. They grow in containers. But you're not getting that marigold, right? Mm -hmm. you, well, it's not, but I'm going to recommend it, and I'll show you why. Oh, Come on over here. Oh, so, look at you, fancy. All right. So all you're going to do is uh, get, like, this is a 15-inch container. That's plenty good. One sure. per pot. I filled it with our Sun Glow our, plant food that comes yeah. right to your door. Organic. It even has organic food in it. This is the potting mix that we've been talking about in the show, and we can deliver it right to your doorstep. You don't have to lug it home from the, from the home store. Now, I would put one of these in a container. Get your cage. Put that in there as well. Water it in good using your tomato plant food, David. This is now, important. unlike the regular uh, Roberta's uh, bounty plant food, this is the tomato plant food. This is the tomato plant food. It's got calcium <coughs> and other micronutrients. That, um, tomato plant food? Uh, once every seven days. Once every seven days. Yes, because these are going to produce from this plant here to this plant here this is in one about plant. 50 days. That's one plant. One plant in 50 days. So and imagine David. this times four. And imagine 20 to 25 pounds oh. times four of oh, tomatoes. Now, I told you I wanted to tell you real quick about these. These are our Tyson uh, uh, marigolds. Mm -hmm. Pick these up because these bring in your pollinators. You can tuck one right in the same container like I'm doing here, but it keeps the insects away like the tomato hornworm, which could decimate this whole plant in Do one day. Do the marigolds keep things like rabbits out? 
Um, I don't think rabbit is mostly insects that are harmful. Insects. Insects that are harmful to your plants. See, this is why it's so great having court here because he can answer all these questions that as a novice gardener, I don't know. And you know, there's also a growing guide. There's growing guides. So, like I said, these are non GMO container sized plants that have the absolute best taste, the best tasting beefsteak tomato called Big League and the best tasting slicer tomato called Celebrity Plus. They're disease resistance. They will bloom for, uh, will be ready to eat in 50 days. That's about a month earlier than Let other people. Let me ask people. you some beginner questions. All right, beginner questions. How much sun do they like? Hot, full sun. All your vegetables, the more sun, the better, like a rose. And what about water? Water, you want to keep them watered. Uh, they don't want to be soggy, but you don't let them go completely bone dry. So depending on the weather that week, uh, maybe two or three times a week. Yeah. Okay. So just get out there with your water hose and go to town if, if you don't get a lot of rain in your area. That's right. Now, if you're making mater sandwiches, the good old-fashioned way is white bread. White bread. A little mayonnaise. A little mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. So some salt and pepper and great big thick slices of tomato. A Big, oh boy, that's a thick one. Look at this one right here. And there is nothing wrong with the world oh that a mater boy. sandwich can't make better. No, absolutely nothing. What would a summer be without a surplus of juicy ripe tomatoes grown right from What's your porch summer, patio? Right? It is. It's memories. Mm. It's a taste. And I'm going to taste one right now. Do you mind? Oh, please go right ahead. This is what's so great about it. And it's the kind of thing that you need to hold over a sink because mm. it's juicy mm -hmm. and drippy. The way God intended it to be. Oh, it's so good. This is also, I mean, these are all so juicy and so flavorful and so red and ripe and gorgeous. And 800 are now out the door. Many of you are saying, well. I want to grow my own maters this summer. Yeah. I want to be able to come home and have a tomato sandwich for supper if that's what supper's going to be, right? Yes, absolutely. And sometimes and that's all you have in the house is just white bread and mayonnaise. That's, uh, that's, I'm happy with that. Oh, yeah. But you can top your frittatas. This could be a pizza for lunch or dinner, even a a delivery pizza with your own tomatoes on it. Yum. Or you're Bump making a great big pot of your own homemade sauce or grandma's recipe, Look at this right? sauce after, uh, jar after jar of sauce. This is granny's gravy. <laughs> but one of our beef steaks could almost fill this jar and the slicers are also great. So for eating for breakfast, eating for lunch, mm. eating for dinner, you're and you're them. getting not one, not two, not three, but four plants. Mm -hmm. And these are big, bold producers. And you get two of the, is, is this one we yes, call beefsteak? This, this is the large beefsteak, and the variety name is called Big League. Look at this, up to a pound and a half. So you get two plants that'll produce that, and then yes. two plants that'll produce what? The slicer, the slicer, Celebrity Plus. Wow. Both disease resistant. Both grow in containers. You're getting two of each. That's four plants. That's 20 to 25 pounds of tomatoes grown organically, picked fresh and warm and ripe right out outside your own backyard. Technically, a tomato is a fruit. It and is. So is the strawberries, and these are coming up a little <laughs> later in the show. I love it. Um, how's that for a segue? This Great. is Roberta's um, six-piece Montana ever-bearing strawberry live plant.